All right, people, welcome back to the card review. So last time we looked at Toon Kingdom, Toon's new fill spell. So they also got another card that we're going to be looking at. This is Comic Hand. So it is an equip spell that reads, Equip only to a monster your opponent controls while you control Toon World. Take control of the equip monster. It is treated as a Toon monster. Also, it can attack your opponent directly unless they control a Toon monster. If there is no Toon World on the field, destroy this card. So you're telling me that Toon's got their own Snatch Steal. Okay, that, that's true. That's, you know, that's totally fine. If you want to try to make tunes better, then, you know, giving them their own snatch still at three is a step in the right direction. You know, of course, uh, people are all freaking out. They're like, oh my god, tunes are going to be like top tier. They're going to be like tier one, tier zero. Oh my god, they're going to be the, 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 the hottest shit because they have their own snatch still. You remember how broken snatch still was? Everybody's in a snatch still. You remember how broke that was? You remember how fucking broke that was? So if the tunes have, they have their own snatch still, they're going to be fucking the best. Like, um, um, uh, there's a deck on Diamond Y, it's called Yuba Archfiends, it plays Falling Down, that's kind of like Snatch Steel, and Archfiends aren't tier 1, and they have 3. Like, look at the hands that the card's been given to, I get it, ha, ha, pun, pun, hand, the guy, ha, no, no, no. It's tunes. Th that's the thing, it's still tunes. Yes, they got their own Snatch Steel. Archfiends have their own Snatch but it's still tunes, but it's still Archfiends. They're nothing compared to the top deck, so I don't understand why anybody's getting these ideas that they're going to be tier 1. Definitely not, you know? It's just interesting that tunes are just a little bit better because they have a couple new cards, you know? Toon Kingdom was nice, you know? That helps, definitely helps with tunes and make them just a tiny bit better. Cosmic Hand. Comic Hand, sure. I said Cosmic Hand. Comic Hand. Cosmic Hand. That's a common writer thing. <laughs> uh... It's, it's, you know, I'm totally fine with this. I'm totally fine with, you know, these lower tier, not as uh, good decks having these powerful cards. There is nothing wrong with that, you know? Now, do I think that Comic Hand is enough alone to allow Toons to be the best? No, you know? Yeah, I, shit, if you want to, create more fucking cards for them. Shit. If you have Toon World on the field, heavy storm your opponent. I don't care, but, you know, give them something, you know? If you have a Toon World, you have a Toon on the field and, like, a Toon Monster on the field... Toon World and a Toon Monster on the Field, Heavy Storming Power. I don't know. Just something better. You know, just give them good stuff. Make them decent. But this card alone is not enough to make them even remotely top tier. But it's still a good card, though. Uh, I like the concept, you know. Take control of your opponent's monster, and then it's treated as a Toon Monster. So, it pretty much, it becomes a Toon Monster. So, any any monster your opponent has, you now have a Toon version of it. You know? uh, and because it's a Toon Monster, it's now protected by your Toon Kingdom. So, you know, it can't be targeted by your opponent's card effects. And if it would be destroyed, you can go ahead and, uh, you know, banish the top card of your deck to protect it. So, you know, if they try to Mirror Force, and, you know, try to Mirror Force their own monster, just like, screw it, I'll Mirror Force my own monster, go to my graveyard. But then you'd be like, nope. Toon King to block it. And then also, you can take their monster and attack them directly. You know, very, very powerful play to be able to go ahead and, you know, have your two monster and Comic comic Hand take their monster and attack them, you know. I've done plenty of times in Vime and Y with uh, Archfiend, where I'll be like, all right, someone in Archfiend falling down, give me your monster. You know, I'd say that this card is uh, much easier to pull off than even uh, falling down in Archfiend, because I in falling down, I have to have an Archfiend on the field. So, and also it makes it a little bit more difficult. But this... You don't even need a Toon Monster on the field, you just need Toon World. And, you know, with Toon Kingdom being a field spell, you can uh, run, like, triple Toon Kingdom, triple Toon Table of Content, triple, you know, uh, you know, terraforming. You can you can get that Toon Kingdom. And then, bam, your Comic comic Hand is ready to go and take your opponent's monster. So, it is not a terrible card. Now, what's the problem is, of course, if there's no Toon World on the field, destroy this card. Just like a good chunk of the Toon card. So, pretty much, you come and can your opponent, and you're like, Oh, now it's protected by my Toon Kingdom, and I have this, and blah, blah, blah. And your opponent just goes, Alright, make a Castell. Detach to return your fucking, uh... Toon Kingdom back to the deck. Oh, it's not on the field. Your comic Hand is destroyed. Give me my monster back. You know? So... Uh, that's the problem, you know. Uh, in the previous video where I did Teen Kingdom, someone uh, uh, commented, it's like, oh, well, you can protect Teen Kingdom uh, with Field Barrier. Yes, from destruction. Castell doesn't destroy, just returns it back to the deck. So, you can have your Field Barrier how you want. That card's gone. So, as I'm saying, with the easy access to, you know, to that card right now, to Castell, yeah. That's just going to screw you over. Like, Castell is probably one of the worst enemies for Toons. Just being able to easily just take that Toon World, take that Toon Kingdom, and just be like, go away. You know? Like, for, forget even going after the, con the, the Comic Can. It's going to die as soon as I get rid of that uh, that Toon World. You know? 
And then a good chunk of your Toon Monsters are going to die too. See, that's the problem. Their, their field spell is just way too vulnerable. And, and now, like I said, I wish it protected itself, but it doesn't. And, you know, that just leaves the deck really vulnerable to your light. So, giving them their own personal Snatch Tail, that's totally fine. Is it going to make them, you know, hot shit? And definitely not. But it's just interesting to see that they got it, you know. Do I, am I saying that this card is bad? You know, because, like, you know, I think the Sigma said that this card is bad. No, this card's not bad. Am I going to be, like, riding on Nim Nim's deck and say that this card's fucking amazing? No, it's not fucking amazing. It's just a fine card that tunes are worthy to have, you know? And I'm not batting any eyelashes. I, if I, I, I don't know. And I saw this card, I didn't shit my pants because I was just like, okay, it's still fucking tunes. You know, it's not like Necros have it. It's not like Burning Abyss or Teller Knights have it. Then we'd have to talk. But tunes? Like, if you're really afraid of getting your ass beat by tunes, then... You might want to go check yourself because tunes are still. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You know, it seems like tunes are actually sitting in closer to the Saki side. You know, like tunes, you got your field spell, you attack your opponent directly. You know, it's just like. So I wanted to kind of attack my opponent directly. I'd rather play Watts. <laughs> At least I don't have to have, you know, some Watt filled spell in the field and stuff like that, you know. There's only a handful of decent tunes, right? So I'm just like, eh, you know, Toon Blue Eyes. It's like, what? Like, I got a Tribute 2 and then I got to pay 500 every time I attack? Like, what? No, why? You know, at least, you know, Toon Ancient Gear Golem kind of replaces him, but still not the best Toon Summon Call. It's not that great, you know. There's just a lot of Toon Monsters just, you know, just like, eh, you know, low levels except for, like, Toon Gemini Elf aren't that good either. So there's just not a lot of good Toon shit. So, in, overall, I just don't see it. You can you can have your Smash deal all day, but you're still tuned. Sorry. So, tell me what you guys think about Comic Can in the comment section below. So, I hope that you guys enjoy this episode of Card Review. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys next time with some more Card Review looking at. I have no idea. <laughs> Look forward to it. All right, people. Thanks for watching.